Hey, welcome back. Today I want to talk about um, occluding or removing bits of your avatar's face from your view if they're there. This commonly happens with things like snouts or um, hair, like if you've got like swooping hair, I don't have that problem. Or, you know, accessories such as glasses, hats, you know, scarves, etc. Sometimes you'll see them in your view and that can be distracting or even sickening for you as a user. And so I want to show you how to remove that um, and it's quite simple. So let's get started. I'm over here to smooth POV. To the right here, I have this uh, Yeem character. Um, you can check these out in Build a Yeem where there are full credits. Um, you also can find credits for who made this model in the video description. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and equip the avatar here. And then I can't show you um, on the camera that effectively exactly what I'm seeing, but I can emulate what I'm seeing. So right now what I'm seeing is the swooping down hair. This hair that comes down over the eyes, I'm seeing that. Uh, so to illustrate what that's saying, I'm going to adjust some of my camera settings here. So this, I see something like this, and that can be really distracting for a user. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. I'm going to hop back into my avatar for the moment so I can um, work on this one down here. To change this, what we're going to do is add a component to the avatar called avatar render settings. So I'm going to go ahead and inspect the head of the avatar here by aiming my developer to auto at it and going to open inspector. I'm going to hit up till we get to the root of the avatar. And I recommend adding this on head proxy. This is where I commonly find it, and uh, therefore it's good to kind of, you know, keep it in a place that other people might be able to find it later. I'm going to scroll to the bottom of the um, head proxy list. I'm going to go to attach component. I'm going to go to um, uncategorized, not uncategorized, sorry, I meant users. Common avatar system, and then avatar renderer settings. Sorry, I got lost there, lost there for a second. With avatar render settings added, you'll now see that there are two properties here with a checkbox next to them. Near clip is things near to you, and far clip is things far away. I don't recommend setting up a far clip value, but I do recommend setting up the near clip value to solve that hair problem that we're talking about. To do that, just check near clip, and then change it to a value. I know that 0.06 here works, but you might have to experiment. When you're experimenting, try very, very, very small numbers. Don't do anything big. If you do anything big, you might end up not being able to see your hands and then you might get stuck. If you get stuck, you can use the undo menu. So if I open up my menu here, you'll see um, that the undo menu here, oh dear, the undo menu here has undo set field near clip to 0.06. So if I undo that, it will undo the uh, value which I've entered into near clip. With this setup, I can then re-equip this avatar, uh, deselect everything, and now I'm um, actually still seeing a little bit of the hair actually. So I'm going to go ahead and increase that to 6.5. Like I said, always do it small. I can't see it here, so I'm going to back it off to 6.2, where I can see it, 6.4s, 6.3, it looks like 6.4 is going to be good. Never increase it by a lot, always do it by little bits and then you will never have any problems. Now, and again you'll have to take my word for it, I cannot see the hair swooping across the face. To illustrate that one more time, I'm going to back the camera settings up. So I've gone from basically seeing effectively that, you know, swoopy hair across my face, to seeing that. Much better. If you have any trouble setting this up, do let someone know and they can help you out in game or ask in the Discord. Um, there are plenty of people that will help you out with this particular setup. Um, thank you. I will see you next time. Hope that's helpful. Bye bye.